Okay, today I would like to speak about a substance who fascinated a lot of people since the 12th century. Uh, the legend says that uh, it has been discovered by uh, a nature man who found his goat. By a, a, a nature man who found his goat totally crazy when they ate it. Uh, it has been experienced by a lot of uh, famous people like uh, Voltaire, uh, Beethoven, or more recently Robert Pattinson. And I'm pretty sure that everyone in this place has experienced it because today I would like to speak about coffee and the addiction of the physical, uh, chemical uh, substance, the caffeine. Um, my description today is uh, uh, in four points. The first one is a description, a basic description of uh, coffee, what is coffee today, uh, what is also caffeine. The second point is the uh, cause, how, how and why you could, you could be uh, an addict. The third point is uh, what is the side effect of this addiction and uh, just at the end, how you could, you could you recover from this addiction. Uh, everything began in the 30th century. Uh, Arabs and uh, Arabs cultivate and trade uh, first in first. Uh, in the 7th century, uh, the coffee began to arrive in Europe. Uh, the first country was Germany. The second was France. In the 18th century, uh, coffee reached the New World, which is uh, U.S. It was in Boston, in a party called uh, Boston Tea Party. Uh, people could uh, drink tea, but also discover a new beverage, and uh, uh, coffee was one of them. Uh, coffee today is a big thing. Uh, it's it, uh, drink by uh, a lot of Americans every day, 140 million. It's uh, in the world 2.25 billion of uh, cup. Uh, just in US, it's a, it's an industry about 30 billion of dollars. And uh, think about what is oil today with uh, a lot of usage. And uh, coffee is just the second, just just after uh, just after oil. This is the second most traded commodity. Uh, yes. Uh, we will see what is caffeine. So basically, when you have adenosine in your brain, you want to sleep. Um, when you take coffee, you have caffeine uh, which blocks uh, the adenosine receptors. So the pituitary gland produces adrenaline, and adrenaline produces dopamine. So this is why you could be addicted to caffeine. And because this is an addiction, we will see just now what uh, what is and how, how and why you could be uh, what is the cause how how you could be uh, an addict. An addict. Just some facts, when you drink a cup a day, you could be in a physical dependence. When you drink three cups a day, you are considered like an addict. And the problem is that caffeine is everywhere. There is caffeine in uh, soda, there is caffeine in tea. But also in surprising products like uh, chocolate or uh, power water. Uh, there is also a tolerance. So, uh, every coffee drinker and uh, could have a tolerance. That means that they they need more cup every day to to fulfill their uh, needs. And uh, you could the, the 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 coffee is because coffee is a real big thing. There is also uh, a coffee culture. So uh, coffee is on TV, on movies, on ads. And there are also professional and familial factors. For example, if you if you can't uh, finish your dinner uh, without a cup of coffee, or if you can't start uh, your day at work without a coffee, it's like professional and familial factors. But there is no net genetic factors. If your mother or your father is an uh, addict, you could, uh, you could be uh, um, a regular user of coffee. Uh, because this is an addiction, uh, we will see uh, why, uh, what is the symptom and what is the side effect on your body. 
there is six signs of caffeine addiction. There is headache, lethargy. Lethargy is like uh, when you are like a vegetable and you don't want to move, you don't want to do anything. You have depression, nausea, vomiting, and muscle pain. There is positive effects and negative effects. Uh, positive effect is decrease of fatigue. Uh, or lower risk of cardiovascular disease, but negative effect is stronger. You, you could have anxiety, you could have uh, uh, an increase of blood pressure, and because uh, there is a lot of negative effects, you, you, you want now to, kn to know how to recover from this addiction. So this is my last part about treatments. Uh, there is a natural way to cure. You can uh, drink uh, fruit juice because it gives you the same effect as caffeine but without, uh, the, without the caffeine in your brain. You could do sport because it uh, removes caffeine from your body. Or if you really love uh, the coffee things, you could uh, drink coffee thin replacements like uh, uncaffeined coffee or something like that. There is uh, no medical assistance, there is no treatment center because it's not uh, considered really a life an addiction. Uh, but if you are in, uh, in an intoxication, uh, it's something like uh, when you drink uh, 10 cups a day when you are children or uh, 20 to 30 cups a day when you are uh, adult dependent size, you could uh, have a medical assistance for this type of uh, intoxication. Um, the withdrawal process is uh, pretty, uh, it's pretty quick. It's nine days in average, so you could stop to be an addict in nine days. And uh, some of the effects, you could have sleepiness or insomnia, it depends on your personality. And uh, you, you could be, uh, you could have irritability. So uh, to sum up our discussion today. I would like to remind you that we have covered uh, a little bit more about uh, what is coffee today, uh, what is caffeine. Uh, we have seen um, what is the cause, uh, how to, to be an addict. Uh, we have seen just after what is the symptom, what is the effect on your body, and at the end, how you, you can recover from this uh, addiction. Here is my sources. I just like to, to, to see, to see say that uh, don't be afraid of coffee because uh, if you are a regular user it's not uh, it's healthy it's not negative for your body so don't be afraid of uh, Starbucks or coffee bean and uh, yes thanks for listening